Jenny Mai Jenkins for the first time talks about her divorce publicly since the news of her soon-to-be ex-husband Jay Wayne Jenkins publicly called GZ divorce filing reached the internet. Hey royalties, kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's Girl Royalty, back with another celebrity relationship. Yes, to my returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Okay, let's get right into this. Jenny Mai, who has been away from social media since the news of the divorce got out, only yesterday made a post on her Instagram account. I shared that in a previous video. I had mentioned in that video that she can't be on a sabbatical for too long because she works with other brands and, and has things probably waiting for her to release or partner with. And that was true because while appearing on the Sherry Shepard show, Sherry announced a new CBS game show, Raids the Cage, that Jeannie Mai Jenkins and Damon Wayans Jr. will be hosting together. While appearing on the Sherry Shepard show, Jeannie Mai walked into the set looking vibrant, beautiful, and humble. I feel like this whole thing is still very fresh and she didn't look like she was ready to tell all or share it all. And also the whole Sherry didn't look like she was ready to probe too. From the few minutes clip uploaded, she didn't ask about if the whole divorce story was true or not. She didn't ask if Jeannie Mai Jenkins was blindsided or what led to the divorce. The interviewer simply went on to show her sympathy and, and applaud the fact that Jeannie is looking good. When asked how she was dealing with all of this, Jeannie Mai Jenkins said, said it's been hard just being quiet by herself and she hands her pain over to God. This is what she said. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, it takes every day to, to just really sit and just be quiet in your thoughts, take care of me. Um, but one thing I know is you give God your pain, he will give you his power. You're all Every day, I'm like, here you go. You got room for more? Here's some more. Here you go. And just taking it day by day, you know? Jenny Mai also in the interview mentioned drawing her strength in sort of consolation from her daughter, Monaco Mai Jenkins. She said she wouldn't have been able to go through this without her being in her life. Today, I'm able to look at her and I can say, what would I advise you if you were in my shoes? Yes. And it changes everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful to be a mom and I'm thankful to have her. Tell me, like, you, you go through stuff, and it's just like you look at your child, and you go, thank you for this gift, because I needed this gift right now, so right now. He knew that, didn't he? He knew that. Yeah. And, I, and, I and how she has been coping the whole time, she said she had turned off every single device from her home, and she's just, like, away, disconnected to be in tune with herself. Turning off everything helps, too. Yes. You know, um, after that moment, I just turned off every single device in my house, and I really tuned into the voices I really needed to hear, which was me and the truth. That's it. Sherry Shepard, who said to understand her pain, having gone through a similar situation with her ex and son's father, Jeff Tapley, whom she says is her best friend, could relate to Jenny Mai's pain. That was pretty much basically all that was mentioned on the uploaded clip on Sherry Shepard's show. I believe Jenny Mai Jenkins came out because of her new show airing today. Although she looked vibrant and beautiful, she also looked like she had really been broken voice seemed to me like it was shaking a bit and it looked like she could cry any moment. Also, she wasn't wearing her ring. I noticed that too. This is very much confirmed that the divorce is a thing and that marriage does not seem to be redeemable. The fact that Jenny Ma is not wearing her ring, even though Jeezy is still wearing his ring, but Jenny Ma is not wearing hers, seemed to me like it is over. She, she probably has given it her best shot, done what she can but it looks like there is no way forward. And again, this whole thing is still very fresh and she needs time to heal, just like she has mentioned on her Instagram post about disconnecting to, to heal. I think she should get all the time that she needs to heal because the way she's looking, if she keeps going on interview talking about this, she's likely going to break down on one of them, except her heart is that hardened. She's used to the new reality and she has truly healed. I wouldn't advise her to go on a media tour talking about her divorce like Tia Mori. I wouldn't advise her to do that, but she should handle it as privately as possible because the petitioner is not even talking about it. Jeezy, who is the petitioner, he's not even talking about it. So I don't think she should do that. But anyway, that was it. Basically, her first public statement 
words concerning the divorce and how she's been dealing with it. But what are your thoughts, you guys? Do you still think that this marriage can be redeemable? How do you feel concerning the whole situation? Ginny Mai, of course, did not talk about what led to it. I don't know if she's ever going to talk about it or maybe it's just still fresh. But so far, this is all that she has said that she's turning over her pain to God. And when you do that, you will get his power. But do you guys think Ginny is going to swing back into action as soon as possible? You guys share your thoughts in the comment section and let's continue this conversation in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay. Bye-bye.